This is another interesting project, a Morse code generator. Morse code is a character encoding scheme used in telecommunications that encodes text characters as standardized sequences of two different signal durations called dots and dashes, or bits and daws. Morse code is named for Samuel F. Morris, an inventor of the telegraph. So we're going to learn a lot about the uh, character data type, strings, and arrays in this one. The setup's pretty simple. We have an Arduino, and we're going to generate a tone uh, that corresponds uh, to the uh, Morse code dots and dashes. So uh, we just have a speaker connected. Uh, it's an 8 ohm speaker, and we're running it through a 150 ohm uh, resistor just to kind of limit the current to keep it uh, below the uh, Arduino's 40 uh, milliamps of current draw. So uh, that's just a safety precaution. You can use a 150 uh, ohm resistor. We just had a resistor network. It was a little bit more convenient, so that's why we use that. Simply you go from whatever pin you chose to, choose to uh, generate the tone into the resistor, out, into one end of the speaker, out the other end, back to ground, back to ground. So you're only using two connections. The tone, the pin you're generating the tone from and your uh, ground. Let's take a look at the sketch. But before we do, let's go back and take a short review of character, character data types, strings, and arrays uh, to get a little bit of uh, background on what we're going to be doing or seeing in the sketch. The character data type, a data type used to store a character value. Character literals are written in single quotes. Multiple character strings use double quotes. Characters are stored as numbers, however. You can see the specific encoding in the ASCII chart. This means that it is possible to do arithmetics on characters in which the ASCII value of the character is used. Array of strings. It is often convenient when working with large amounts of text such as a project with an LCD display to set up an array of strings because strings themselves are arrays. This is actually an example of a two-dimensional array. My string is actually an array of strings. These six strings. These individual strings are actually arrays with elements. Each character in this string is an element of that string. Here is a string stored in memory, a string literal of the uh, word hello. You see the pointer for the first memory location, one, two, three, four, five, six bytes. Each letter or character with its ASCII code. occupying a byte of memory in sequence. And the last character, the terminating character, is a null character. There is no distinction between upper and lowercase letters. Each Morse code symbol is formed by a sequence of dots and dashes. The dot duration is the basic unit of time measurement in Morse code transmission. The duration of a dash is three times the duration of a dot. Each dot or dash within a character is followed by its base, equal to the dot duration. The letters of a word are separated by a space of duration equal to three dots, and the words are separated by space equal to seven dots. Constant we have here for our uh, speaker, speaker pin, pin eight. The dot duration, 100 milliseconds. We can go from 100 to 200. The tone frequency, 600 hertz to 1,000 hertz. We're set at 600. The character array, letters, contains all the strings for the Morse code. Character numbers contains all the Morse code strings for 0 through 9, the number 0 through 9. 
we have the setup, pin mode, speaker pin output, serial begin, 9600. Then we move on to the loop. We're going to uh, check for characters available at the serial monitor. The user is going to type in the messages that uh, he wants to send out on Morse code. We're going to do a serial read on each character and we're going to assign it to a variable ch which is our character variable. We're going to store our characters and then we're going to go through a series of if statements to determine which character we've received and to match it up with its corresponding Morris code sequence. As an example, we're going to do some subtraction because each character is symbolized by a numerical value. For example, if we're going to look at receiving the letter K, lowercase k, its numerical value is 75. or we're lowercase, we're looking at lowercase in this example. Lowercase for the uh, K is 107. The A is 97, which is shown here in the ASCII table. And we're doing a subtraction on that. That will give us 10. 107 minus 97, 10. And that is actually the location or the element, it's the tenth element in this array. And these arrays are zero index, so they start at zero. So that's the zero position, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's the tenth K is the tenth character in that array, or the tenth element in this array. And that'll give us the correct Morse code sequence. That sequence is sent to this user-defined function, get code, and that'll get that sequence or that array of characters, dots and dashes, to this function. And in that function string, we're going to get to this while loop where we initialize the zero it's going to start out and it's going to index, go through the index from zero all the way through until it runs into a null character, which is the end of that string. And it's going to essentially strip out each individual element in that array or that array of characters, dots and dashes. And once it strips them out, takes them on to the dot dash sequence here. Or we're going to turn on the tone and we're going to determine if it's a dot or a dash element. If it's a dot, we're going to delay one duration or 100 milliseconds and then turn off the tone. If it's not a dot, it must be a dash, else it's a dash. It's three times the dot duration, which is 300 milliseconds. Turn off the tone delay another dot duration because that's the space between dots and dashes and we go back to the next sequence sequence from 0 to 1, 2, 3 and so forth until it runs in to the null character. When it finishes that character string it goes back gets the next character and so forth until it runs into a space which is the end of a word. It delays seven dot durations, which is the space between words, and then returns back again into the loop, gets the next character, and so forth. The app that we used, it's a decoding app for generating Morse code uh, tones and it also decodes. It's called Morris It and that is the uh, app that we're using. 
So we'll sit this all together, get it all set up, and uh, we'll generate some tones and see if it works.